My name is Ilya Morrison. I'm the technical director here at EdVideo Media Arts Center. And we're doing this GoFundMe because we're concerned that the future of EdVideo is at stake. Artist Run Centers are spaces by and for artists. They're essential for media artists whose work often exists outside of traditional and commercial spaces. The arts funding that EdVideo has traditionally relied upon is becoming ever more precarious and harder to access. As an artist myself, I know the importance of spaces like EdVideo can have on one's career. EdVideo supports so many diverse artists in our region, and we're in a situation where we need our community to help support EdVideo. So that we can continue supporting artists. EdVideo, um, it means 25 years of working in my field. It means a place for a lot of uh, diverse storytelling. It means a seed. It means like the beginning of something for me. It's a place where I got exposed to so many things and built a career out of those things. Ed video means hope for, for young people like me who have no idea how to get into the industry of, of video making and media arts. The Ontario Arts Council defines an artist if you meet three of the following criteria. One, if you went to school for it. Two, if you're getting paid for your art, for your work. Three, if other artists recognize you as an artist. To me, Ed Video is that third thing. Ed Video means to me a place where creative individuals like myself can come and get support and guidance for what they want to create and also a place to like showcase it. I think of myself as a transdisciplinary artist, so that means I work with a lot of different tools, media, and materials. So whenever I work with video or sound, I really depend on Ed Video for equipment, editing software, and most importantly, the staff's expertise who can help me uh, make the work that I want to produce. Ed Video is invaluable to me as an independent uh, video producer because the budgets are so small for what I work on that I would not be able to afford to pay myself at all if it weren't for the equipment and facilities that Ed Video uh, provides to me. Without Ed Video, there would be no sled videos. <laughs> I cannot afford to buy most of the equipment that I use the most frequently at Ed Video. I am an artist and I don't have the space to store equipment even if I could afford it. So Ed Video is super important because it is the place that I go to fill that lack, um, fill that hole. You know, education, educational video. I, I come here to learn stuff. Love the the, the fact that they just keep changing and pivoting and adapting and bringing in different technology and different training resources. And I've met so many amazing people, so many friends uh, and so many fellow filmmakers that have made this journey incredible. Showing up to the general meetings and whatnot is the real sense of community that it provides for artists from all different mediums. There's nothing like this in any other city I know. I lived in Woodstock up until this year for the past six years, and I couldn't even dream of something like this uh, being in place there. So as much as the equipment rentals and the grants and all these wonderful things that I'm grateful for that's gotten me here today, What's really sticking out for me is this overwhelming sense of community and partnership and everybody working together to make something that is just really rare. Losing Ed Video, single drop coming out of my eye. <laughs> if Ed Video no longer existed, um, I would be in a lot of trouble. And I know that uh, my business that I run here with Dustin would be in a lot of trouble because the fact that Ed Video exists uh, gives us the opportunity to sort of like reach for the stars, so to speak, and you know, bigger projects come along where we want to like seize an opportunity. We can rely on Ed Video being here so that we can have access to the things we would need in order to actually execute uh, you know, the demands of, of larger scale things. 
Uh, losing Ed video would mean that I would have to depend on myself to do more background research if I wanted to use particular tools. Because I switch between tools so often, I can't be an expert in everything, so I really depend on Ed video to fill that gap for me. Yeah, if Ed video no longer existed in Guelph, um, it would be pretty difficult, especially at this time in my career where um, I really do rely on a lot of new energy. I would probably have to go to Toronto where there's a few other um, you know, artist-run community centers and I probably wouldn't do it. Honestly, at this stage, I'm not gonna be commuting to Toronto to find that community, so I'd be a little bit lost swimming way out here in Guelph without the supports and the community without Ed Video. I, I would lose a lot of the connections that I have been making. Or I wouldn't lose those connections, but I would lose future connections because it's all about getting yourself out there. And um, it's really hard to do in the industry, and Ed Video has helped me out a lot with that. But I feel like it's not much to me, but to like people like me back when I was just coming to Canada or just starting in, in video production or any type of media, that's what it's going to be like. For them, missing that opportunity. I just met a, a guy that came from Mexico and he's really interested in creating stuff. If we don't have Ed Video, he wouldn't be able to the same way I did back in the day. If Ed Video didn't exist, I wouldn't be able to do the smaller projects that I work on, work that's really important to me. Films for nonprofit and for institutions and for storytelling organizations and arts and cultural organizations and they don't have big budgets and I you know I don't have a pile of equipment that I that I have access to and so I need to have access to good quality equipment and people who can help me work it <laughs> I need to have a community that is open to helping me and to who have time to train me on things and to give me tips. So much media is corporate now and so to have a place like this that permits non-corporate media creation is it's so it's like I can't stress enough how important that is <laughs> right now. If we lost Ed Video then a huge part of why I am here and why so many people are in Guelph would be gone. We're in an unprecedented situation where we need to ask our community for support. If you're able to support us financially, or if all you can do is share our GoFundMe, we're forever grateful. Without Ed Video, you'll be staring at a blank screen. Donate today.